Hello everybody, welcome back to the Tillage Village. I'm super glad you could join us today. We've been having a lot of things happening. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas and we're looking forward to a new year, 2024, unless you celebrated Rosh Hashanah in, the, in September time uh, for the new year. But I do hope you've had a wonderful year. So we had something hooked up just before Christmas. You can see right there. It's the wood stove, and we've had that burning um, over the past few days because it's been a little chilly. Um, it's been down in the 30s and 40s, so that's been quite cold. Now, I'm going to show you uh, the process of how we had all that, that hooked up. We had a wonderful friend who did that uh, uh, for us, helped uh, my husband and uh, and a friend. They they hooked that up, so it was... It was uh, it was a task, but it was done. Uh, wasn't as challenging as I thought it would be. So um, one down, we have one more to go that needs to be hooked up. And there's so many things you can do when you have a wood stove. So I'm going to show you through the little process of how that was done. It's not really a detailed video, but it's like bits and pieces. Um, because I kept saying, don't do any more till I videoed, and then I'd come back and something was done. So I tried to video as much as we can so you can see that and uh, just enjoy as, uh, as we go along. And you'll see the process and the little few steps that um, we did as we went through that. And, um, and voila, it is there. So we had the stove uh, burning yesterday evening this is on the deck area this isn't in the main house so this is on the deck area so we had the stove burning yesterday and it is so super warm so warm and so comfy and cozy so um i'm gonna let you walk you through the video and and then we'll we'll get back okay So you'll be able to see, this is what the stove looked like uh, before everything was hooked up. It was bare and it was just sitting out here um, all lonely by itself. So here's the stove and it was just sitting, you know, against this wall, um, just under a mat. We just had it sitting there, I don't know, maybe for a couple of years. But obviously we decided it's time now to get this all hooked up and... Uh, there's nothing in there, there's no piping or anything like that. But uh, obviously, as I said, we had to get this hooked up and um, you'll see that we're gonna get all this started and move everything away from the current location of where it is. We decided that's the position that we want it in. So what they'll do now is mark out the area where we want the piping and um, what they did was aim to get that centered in the middle. So what we did, we put up some cement board on the top part and on the base where the stove will actually sit. And then we marked, see that area, the little bullseye area? We marked that area out. And now what we'll do is we'll put in something called a wall thimble, which is like a little uh, protector uh, of the section between the wall inside the wall and outside the wall so it conducts the heat through the hole and uh, then you'll place the pipe in there so i hope you understand from um, what we're doing but when, once you see it you'll be able to uh, understand and see what we're doing so that wall thimble came in two parts one part that you put on the wall and then that part it's like a little frame picture frame that goes over the top but it does go through the wall prior to you uh, putting your pipe in and obviously you measure the height and the, the distance but you try and get that pretty centered so there's no gaps around that uh, cement wall. Now inside the stove is pretty basic for those of you who haven't seen inside one of these uh, wood burning stoves. There, um, there's nothing fancy inside. You can put a grate in there if you want. That's what we, we're going to do and um it's just basically empty as you can see from the picture now or the video now now this is obviously before it's all hooked up but as you can see when i open it it's just very basic inside this um wood stove is extremely heavy you couldn't obviously lift this by yourself you would actually need two people to lift this 
Now there's different types of piping that you can get. You have Duravent, um, Selkirk, um, there's quite a few others, but you know, you just get what's what can fit in your budget and what's what you basically want the, 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 the stove to do, whether you, you have it for like a more of an external uh, area where you want your wood stove or you want it somewhere inside. Uh, obviously, that's down to you, but then you just choose your piping. So you're going to see that they've put all the pipe together and then we're getting all that connected to the wood stove. Now you can obviously see it is almost all hooked up and I'm extremely excited at this point as you can see. So um, everything is connected to the, the stove, well almost connected but not to the actual wall. So you'll see as we go along how everything is completely done. Now you're going to notice a little gap at the top, can you see there, that you, where you can see the daylight coming through? And I'm going to show you what we did to fix that problem. Now you can see this here is the cement board. We've got that quite thick back there and that's like an insulator. We have that on the back and on the uh, floor where the, the wood stove is resting on. Now, the exciting part is everything has been hooked up to the, the, uh, the stove, the piping, etc. And you can see uh, that there's a little gap there, uh, as, as I showed you earlier. And I'm going to show you what we used in that gap to fill that area. Because there's lots of different things, but one thing that, that obviously worked very well for us was this uh, type of uh, putty. I'm going to show you what it is. Okay, so what we used for that gap that was around the piping and the, uh, the wall, oh, I forgot what it was called, um, the, the, the flat part of the wall, what we used was this thing called furnace cement. It's in a little pot. I think we got it from... Uh, you can get it from Ace Hardware or True Valley. If you can't get it, then you order it. But it's like um, it's like putty, but it it dries quite quickly, and you fill the gaps around that area. And this worked wonderfully well. So we use that. So any gaps where you could either get uh, you know the that showed any forms of air coming in or any seams that weren't uh, completely seamed uh, and sealed rather, that's what we use. So we use that. It's really sticky and putty-like, but um, this worked and it did a marvellous job. So what we're doing now is because everything's hooked up, we are going to start just a small uh, little fire in the, in the wood stove so we can actually see whether if any smoke is escaping either inside or um, it's going straight up and then through the pipe outside so we'll just we're just going to check that we're just going to light the fire and watch the smoke so now we're starting the fire now what our aim is what the goal is is to ensure that when the fire is lit and the smoke is uh in the the, the stove area that no smoke is basically coming out of any piping and that the smoke is going straight through the, uh, the stove, up the pipe and out. So you'll see now as we're trying to check outside that the smoke is all going up and out of the chimney. Obviously you have a carbon monoxide um, tester. We always have that with our fireplaces inside the house and out here too, but um, you'll be able to see now that uh, the smoke was, was going out and we are nearly all set. So we're going to get this lit, um, get the fire, a small fire started, and then we'll do later on a big burn for a fire so we can, uh, you know, really burn off any odors or anything like that in, in the, 
the, the stove. So there is nothing much coming out at the moment. A very, very faint um, smoke trail. But um, we're going to keep on watching and see if we can get a continuous smoke. There we go. Now we're getting some smoke coming out and that appears to be very continuous. So this is just a small fire now, but we can see that there is smoke coming out of the, the chimney. So we'll just let this burn and then we'll actually try and light a really big fire. So there wasn't as much smoke as we wanted, so we uh, really got the fire uh, burning, stoked up a lot. Not, as, not a big fire, but enough so there was a continuous flow of smoke. And there we go. That's what we wanted to see. Wonderful. So there you can see we've put that cement furnace around all the little uh, air pockets and holes that was in that area around the piping. So you can see at the back, this section here is a cement board and what it sits on as well. Let me see if I can bring that down a little bit. See that? We have the cement board there too. So it sits on the cement board and it is on cement board. Now we've had this stove a long time, several years, and it was first in the garage. And then we had it, uh, we put it out here, but it just wasn't hooked up. So it's hooked up now. So we did have a fire burning last night, as I said earlier in the video. And I'm going to open this so you can see, because I don't think it should be warm, but let's bring it down a little bit and see. Now, there was a little handle here. Now, I can't find out where that is, so I'll um, search the garage if we can find that. Otherwise, I'll have to order, order one. But, so we've had the fire burning in there. And we put a grate in there. I got a grate from my friend good friend and um, we put the grate in there and just so that the wood didn't sit directly on the base of the wood fire so we put it on top of the grate so even though it's extremely cozy and warm and nice and snug having to have a wood stove you do get the task of having to clean out all of that ash but I'm the volunteer to clean the ash, so um, that will go in the garden too. So that's a good thing. So it does have a double benefit of um, helping with the garden as well. So we're going to clean that out and um, you'll come along with me, get that cleaned, and then we're going to hopefully put another fire on because it is still chilly today. So now the oven is cleaned out. Well, it's cleaned out as much as, you know, it can be cleaned, as much as the ash can uh, be out of there. And it's all ready for a new fire to be placed inside. Get some logs ready. So uh, all that part um, is the exciting part when you get the fire started, get everything nice and cozy and warm. And we have the logs sitting at the side there. I do have a... Uh, uh, well, I need to get one of those uh, baskets to store all the logs, but you know, there's no rush. We can get all that. Um, so that is it. So I hope you've enjoyed all of that. And um, it encourages you to maybe if you need to get a wood burning stove or something like that, try and get that. You can actually restore some of them because um, a lot of people tend to, you know, some people are getting rid of those things, getting rid of the, the stoves. So if that's a project of yours that you'd like to do, then, you know, go ahead. It's a, it's a wonderful little project. And there's so many things that you can do when you have um, a wood stove because you can not, not only cook on it, and it does obviously make the air a lot drier, but there's uh, special kettles that you can get that just give off a lot of um, uh, steam, which puts a lot of moisture back into the air, you can dry your clothes, um, 
just so many things but it does actually keep the area extremely warm so until next time my friends bye for now i well, hope you enjoyed it and um until next time bye for now bye